bathed in the warm glow of the California sun, Jake, a weary traveler, finds himself unexpectedly stranded outside a majestic estate. Misplaced keys to his summer rental property prompt him to seek aid from a sexy neighbor. Upon entering the alluring abode of Sam, a striking stranger, Jake is swept into an impromptu poolside escapade. Little does he know, the afternoon is set to unfold into a captivating California encounter. Both single young men are on the cusp of learning that life's most delightful schemes are often those that are unplanned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Steamy Stories, where romance turns bromosexual. Today you're in for a treat. Not only is this a podcast episode, but it's also a steamy short film. It's true. We turned this sexy little story into a steamy short movie for you. So, if you enjoy what you hear here, then go watch the video on our YouTube channel. We are excited to hear what you think. So, make sure you leave us a comment on YouTube. Let's not waste time gabbing, though. Let's get right into it, as I tell you about these two young lovers and how they end up finding each other in today's episode, Summer Surprise. Jake, a young and dashing man with an athletic build, paused outside a grand Californian estate. His deep-set eyes reflected uncertainty, and a slight sultry Spanish accent echoed his thoughts as he muttered to himself, should I just wait for the keys to my rental house? Should I bother his neighbor? He hesitated, his finger hovering over the doorbell, pondering whether he should interrupt the inhabitants of the luxurious abode he stood in front of. Unbeknownst to him, the modern doorbell, equipped with a sleek camera, captured his every move. The homeowner, reclining by the pool out back, observed Jake's hesitation on his phone's screen, intrigued and amused. Desperate to gain access to the Airbnb he rented next door, Jake shook off his doubts and pressed the intercom button. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you, he began, his voice betraying a hint of exhaustion. Can I use your phone? Mine's dead and I'm trying to find your neighbor. After a brief pause, a deep, melodious voice, laced with a hint of glee, replied, Of course, I'll buzz you in. Head through the house toward the pool in the back. I'm relaxing in the jacuzzi. Come on in. Gratefully, Jake picked up his luggage and walked through the home. As he approached the pool area, the sound of water bubbling in the jacuzzi grew louder and soon he laid eyes on the owner of the voice, Sam, a breathtaking young man with raven black hair and sparkling emerald eyes. He raised an eyebrow in playful surprise, silently acknowledging his day's unexpected turn. In the sun-dappled backyard, Sam exuded the effortless charm reminiscent of classic Hollywood icons. His fingers curled around an iced drink, the droplets condensing on the glass, mirroring the beads of sweat on his brow. Although his relaxed posture suggested leisure, the anticipatory smile on his lips hinted he'd been awaiting someone's arrival. Adjacent to him, a table was set up, showcasing a frosty pitcher brimming with a refreshing concoction and a second empty glass poised for company. Jake cleared his throat, breaking the serene scene. I'm sorry to intrude, he began, his voice slightly hesitant. However, Sam interjected smoothly, intuitively grasping the situation. Let me guess, you booked the Airbnb next door and they seem to have forgotten to leave the key for you. Jake's eyes widened in surprise, realizing that his travel mishaps 
seemed all too common in this neighborhood. Recognizing Jake's parched state from a long day of traveling, Sam, ever the gracious host, expertly mixed an Arnold Palmer and handed it to his unexpected guest. You look hot. Er, I mean, warm. Why don't you take a dip in the pool? It's the best remedy for this sweltering California sun, he suggested, gesturing towards the shimmering cold water. Jake hesitated for a brief moment, assessing the situation. But the allure of the inviting pool, combined with the oppressive heat, made the decision easy for him. Silly me, coming to California without packing a swimsuit, he mumbled innocently with a bashful smile. Sam wasted no time coming up with a solution to the problem. You're welcome to go in wearing your boxers, or I could loan you a suit if you'd like. Sam chuckled at his short-sightedness in his vacation preparations. I don't mind going just in my boxers, if that's okay with you, Jake said. The twinkle of Sam's eye and a mischievous smirk gave Jake all the permission he needed to peel his shirt over his head and unfasten his jeans. Seemingly innocent, but assuredly sexy, he lowered his pants to his ankles, disclosing his snug-fitting black boxer briefs underneath. Sam looked away to give Jake some privacy when disrobing, but he couldn't help but steal an eyeful of this sexy, muscular man, undressing just slightly out of arm's reach. A moment of awkward glances ensued as Jake completed his discreet striptease, leading to a splash of cool, crisp water as Jake dived in. Sam laughed as he swam over to join his guest in the pool, both equally excited for more of the other's company. Their jubilant splashes and shared laughter echoed through the yard, marking the beginning of an unexpected friendship. Amid their carefree splashes and shared jokes, an unexpected message cast a shadow over the light-hearted moment. Jake's phone buzzed with a message from Ben, the owner of the neighboring rental property. Glancing at the screen, Jake's joy slowly transformed into concern. The message was tactfully delivered. Jake's reservation was for the following month, not now. Sam attempted to deliver the bad news that the home he rented was unavailable in as light a tone as possible. Still, seeing Jake's crestfallen expression was upsetting. Sam's brow furrowed in concern. Hoping to lighten the mood, he made a proposition that caught Jake completely off guard. Why not stay here? Sam offered, gesturing to his sprawling estate. No charge. It's the least I can do for a weary traveler. Touched by the gesture, he contemplated his options. Rather than the house next door, could I stay with this sexy stud and lounge poolside with this Adonis of a man for the next two weeks of my vacation? Will I be able to control myself cohabitating with this hunk? Jake hesitated as he wondered if he trusted himself being around a man as sexy as Sam, especially considering the circumstances of this vacation. Jake finally shared his true motive for the trip. He explained that he was in California not merely for leisure, but to surprise someone with whom he had developed a deep connection over months of heartfelt phone conversations. Someone similarly named... Sam. Ah, Sam replied with a smirk. Is this Sam a lawyer like you? Jake was quick to respond. Yes, as a matter of fact, he is. Suddenly, Jake stopped dead in his tracks. Something was amiss. He wondered, when did I mention that I was an attorney? Sam couldn't help but smile mischievously. Giving away his secret, Jake's realization hit him like a ton of bricks. 
his face quickly planted behind his hands as he murmured, uh, Don't tell me your name is Sam Ridgemont. A hearty laugh from Sam told Jake everything he needed to know. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, Jake yelped. Sam attempted to quell his chuckle as he quickly sighted. Please don't be embarrassed. Flying out here to surprise a man you connected with online is a wonderfully romantic gesture. It's adorable. Jake wasn't sold on Sam's assertion. No, I'm just a silly man with a crush on an office worker. It was a crazy idea, and I'm mortified at what I did. Sam slid closer to Jake and put his hand on his leg, reassuring him that he was anything but silly. Full disclosure, the neighbor next door, Ben, is our client. I was the one who suggested he tell you that he had an Airbnb in Los Angeles, and it was me who recommended he offer it to you so that you might stay there on your vacation, Sam noted. Jake was shocked by two revelations. One, that their prize client Ben was brought to the firm because he and Jake were friends and neighbors. And two, Sam set this whole thing up so Jake would visit. Sam's piercing eyes and soothing smile put Jake at ease as he explained. See, it was I who tricked you into vacationing in California so I could meet you. Who's the silly man with an office crush now? As the California sun beat down on them and the cool, crisp water beneath their feet invited them back into the refreshing pool, both men could feel the initial surprise melting into shared laughter. Jake looked deeply into Sam's eyes and posed one last question to him. I'm confused about something, though and maybe you could help answer it. Sam leaned forward and answered. Sure. What is it? Well, since you managed to persuade me to fly to California and now have me stripped practically naked in your swimming pool, why then aren't you kissing me now? Sam paused as he acknowledged that it was an excellent question indeed. With that, Sam leaned over to Jake and, at first, gently kissed his warm, wet lips. Jake enjoyed the sweet affection between him and Sam, but he craved more. With that, Jake pulled Sam closer, driving his mouth hard against his lips, passionate, deeply kissing him. Sam's tight, muscular body was now firmly pressed against Jake's ripped torso. The men consumed each other hungrily for several moments. Then, Jake took a breath and smiled. With a wry, mischievous look in his eye, he whispered, Well, since you live alone, and this backyard is tree-lined and private, I see no further need for these pesky boxer briefs. Sam wholeheartedly agreed as he slipped his swim trunks off, sending both of their pairs of shorts casually floating across the pool. Ah, isn't it wonderful that those two young lovers connected? I find it so sexy and sweet, just like the movie. Hold it, you haven't seen the film yet? Well, then you're in for a treat. We made this podcast episode into a short film on our YouTube channel. Just go to the Steam Room Stories channel on YouTube and you'll meet Jake and Ben and see his beautiful Hollywood home. We had great fun making this movie for you and look forward to making even more. So if you want to see more films, just let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. I certainly hope you enjoyed both the story and the movie. And if you did, please tell your friends about us. We always appreciate more listeners. Till next month. Later, bro.